In this movie we'll show you how we can import a DXF file into Partmaster and uh, take it through to the Wire EDM software. So I've started the uh, CAD system from the desktop. Uh, it's best to use the CAD system to import the DXF file and then it allows you uh, a lot of flexibility as to where we uh, set the datum and the way that we create the contours for machining. So I'll choose open a DXF file from the start menu and this is the DXF file we're going to use. Uh, now one of the things that's important to bear in mind with DXF files is that they don't contain any information about the units that uh, were used so you need to know this. So in this case it's in inches. Okay so that's the DXF file there and if you want to check on your units you go to view properties and you can check that those units are the ones that you want. Okay so uh, what we'll do is um, we'll need to create contours of these two uh, shapes. Often DXF files contain uh, data that you don't need for instance this line here and this vertical one here may not be part of the actual shape you need to machine. So uh, we create uh, what we call contours which are like polylines and it's only those shapes that get passed through to the wire EDM software and get machined. So uh, I'm looking at this bottom shape here now perhaps a good start point would be halfway along this horizontal span so to do that what I'll do is I'll use the intersect command with midpoint split and just point to the line that just splits the line at its midpoint that gives me a nice start point for machining so I'm going to go into the NC button here the datum point is shown to me with the uh, blue propeller but if I want to move the datum point then I use the set NC datum and I could move the datum point to another position but in this case we'll keep it where it was so we'll create contours so we choose the second icon down from the options toolbar here and I'm going to choose uh, the first element to be cut you notice that the arrow is pointing in the direction that I want. If I was to go to the opposite side, then I could choose a different direction. So we click OK. And in general, the shape is closed, which it is. So I just need to give it a depth. So what happens now is it tries to create the contour automatically. But what it's found is a decision point. So if I zoom in here, it gets to the end of this first element and it sees that there's a line going over here and a line going up and it doesn't know which one to choose so I need to indicate which one I want it to follow. Okay, So having done that it cr creates the contour of the rest of the shape and it shows it to me in a nice thick line so that I can see it more clearly. Now we'll do the same thing with the other shape <clears throat> from here but this time the shape isn't closed because it's an open shape so if I uncheck that box and click OK then the help at the bottom says uh, ask me to indicate the end point so this will be the end point of that shape okay so we've got those two contours created now we can save this file away and this will save it in Partmaster format so now we can link through to the machining module so to do that I choose machining from the top menu and the module I want is the wire EDM module okay so we're now in the wire EDM system <clears throat> what's happened here is that uh, the only shapes that have been passed through to the wire EDM system are the ones that we created contours for and in the top box here we can see those two contour definitions the program operations have been created automatically so for each contour that it finds it creates a simple two axis uh, go around command so we can get into that and we can modify it and change it so the first thing we'll do if I double click on that the uh, cutting direction is forward as I created the contour I want the wire offset to be to the right and my options I need to specify where I want the pilot hole position. So let's have that, say, 0.1. OK, now what that does is it creates a pilot hole position 0.1 away from the start point of the contour. 
and I'll do the same thing with the second one offset to the right go to the options tab and specify the pilot hole position and again you can see that's created that pilot hole there for contour number one pilot hole position zero for contour zero so in its simplest form that's created the uh, machining instructions for that shape and if I run the simulation what we get is we get a rapid move from the start point which is the datum to the first pilot hole position then an approach movement machines around that contour back to the uh, pilot hole rapids across to the next pilot hole approaches machines all the way around and at the end of that rapids back to the uh, start position there so uh, if we wanted to view the G code for that file we could post process I'll use a standard FANUC post processor but there are lots of different ones available Agi, Shami, Sodic, Makino, all sorts of uh, different post processors so that uh, creates the post processed output and it opens up another window at the bottom of the screen here and here we can see the instructions rapid to the first position thread the wire rapid to the next position and so on cut the wire thread the wire now if the machine has an automatic wire feed then we can issue commands miscellaneous commands to automatically cut and to rethread the wire so we can look at that in the isometric view and if we run the animation <clears throat> and so okay so in its simplest form those are the two machine uh, consoles that have been machined if we need to look at the 3d simulation we choose 3d simulation from the top toolbar choose the machine in this case it's a four axis wire machine and it creates the data to pass through to the uh, simulator and we can just accept all the defaults here click simulate and this is the solid simulation we have simple video controls here which show us what the machine is going to do if we want to we can view the stock as being transparent and we can zoom in zoom out and so on so in its simplest form that um, produces the machine path if we wanted to put a taper on any of those things we go into the um, appropriate go around command and on the options tab we can set the initial wire inclination so if we do need to use taper cutting then we can do and again when we're happy we can just run the simulation And in that case there we can see the angle so that's how we can import um, a DXF file into Partmaster and produce a machining program for wire EDM machines <laughs>